the Sun Mountain Bike Tech that's just been superseded by the natural progress of development. Mm -hmm. But then there's some stuff that just seems to have gone out of fashion that riders don't want to use anymore. Uh, it comes across being seasonal. Fashion is seasonal. So let's talk about some mountain bike kit and tech that you don't see anymore. Blake, do you remember travel adjustable forks? Vaguely, yes. Actually, I've got a new fork that you can actually still do it on. Well, yeah, but the, remember the RockShox U-Turn or mm. the Fox Talus? I do remember that one. They were great for dirt jumpers. I yeah. remember having a hardtail where yeah. I could crank it up or do a bit of drill yeah. and then down if I want to and pump it up to do dirt jumps. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But you don't get them anymore. You don't know. Well, I don't know why, because I think it should come back. Like, I. I think they didn't work as well. I know, Matt used to work for Fox. Did they, what was their problems? Do they go pop? Because, no. no. I thought they were, it's all right. See? I never had any problems with them. And it's all, I think it's because manufacturers wanted to progress into a, a bigger range of forks. So you have to buy that one for that, that for that, that. Well, you can get, you can space them down a lot of forks nowadays, yeah, which can. makes them more usable, I guess. But yeah. you can't do it on the fly you with can't, a lot of forks no. where you used to be able to. And maybe you can get a better damper if you don't mm -hmm. have that uh, feature. But interestingly, you don't see those anymore. No, fashion that's gone out the window. Bar ends. Okay, now bar ends, it's gone out of fashion. How, you, how, I'm, when was the last time you saw someone with a set of bar ends riding uphill? Never. It used to be you could get yourself in, arguably in a better position with a bit more weight on the bar, yeah. but I don't know. Weird, SQ Labs do have one, but it's like an internal they're bar not, end. They're not bar ends. But it's like are. a thumb end. Yeah. Actually, they're banned by the UCI. We talked about this the other week. they? So you can't run those at a UCI sanctioned race. You can run bar ends. We can't run these into one. I don't know. I guess it's aerodynamics. They talk about, you know, the roadies where they stick their elbows. Stick like that. Pointless. Because in mountain biking, it's the comfort. It's not really the aerodynamics. It is a product that has actually been left alone. But let us know in the comments down below. Do you still run bar ends? Coloured tyres. I know, I disagree. That, that literally should be thrown in the bin. Apart from sidewalls, I like tan walls. Tan walls, I get that, but used to, I used to have grey Toyoga Psychos back in the day. Oh, green Michelins, remember those cross country tyres? Green Halo Twin Rails. My brother had a pair of, set of them. I had blue ones. Don't remember those. 24 inch to jump ones. They're really heavy. Twin rail, because there's a little rail, two of them in the middle. It's good. Don't Fast. see them. I guess that is complete fashion. If you're getting a colour of a tyre yeah. to match your bike. Mm. People still run them. People still make coloured tyres. Don't see it so much though. No, and if you do, it's like, I feel like it makes the bike look a bit cheaper. Yeah. Garish coloured parts. I, like, I think that's still in fashion. Bling. Yeah, I... Mm. Well, in the 90s, that was the thing. You had, would you buy the bar ends to match your brake, like, yoke thing, whatever they're yeah. called. But now people still do that. I mean, I still do that. I've well, got... Hope is a really good advocate yes. for this, for matching pretty much everything you I mean, we see it every, every week everything. in the bike vault. Yeah, every, you do. People do match it, so I don't think it has gone out of fashion. It's still a thing. No, it's not, but you see a lot less of it. We only see it because it gets uploaded. Uh, yeah, I know. Has that gone out of fashion? Let us know if you still match your bits. I do a little bit. But going into the actual fashion, so bright colours on parts. Remember some of the Troy Lee stuff? Well, I'm guessing like 2000s would be like skulls Kit, yes. or zebras. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like Bubba motocross as well, yep. with that zebra fox stuff. That came over to mountain biking big time. Yeah. Maybe not so much nowadays. You see like the brightly coloured race kits. But when was the last time you saw someone wearing, you know, in like the, in the race pajamas down <laughs> the woods? <laughs> I don't. don't. I don't. No, I haven't seen it or a suit. I didn't see it. A lot of people go for the black kit now, don't they? You no. See, you go to the bike shops. It's kind of black, small logo fox. Toy exactly. Lee. Or it's like pastel colours, bit subtle, not like, yes. check me out, I'm green. A bit like, if we're talking about colour matching your bike, going to the previous one, my old bear, Rallon. Oh, yeah. Whereas the pink and green, I had the yeah. pink. I match pretty That's much. That's garish. It's not out of fashion, though. Wow, is Good it? Good those, <laughs> Loud hubs. Controversial one. Because I've, I've actually seen a lot more Silent hubs coming. So you didn't see them, you heard them. You didn't hear them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I heard them. 
Yeah. Didn't hear them. I mean, there's Hope. They were quite loud. I mean, yeah. uh, Chris King, Buzz. Spank ones are loud. Yeah, I quite like it. But oh, you can actually, you can you can mute those. You can mm. muffle them by sticking grease in them. Oh, a lot no. more. I've heard that. I've never actually done that. I've done it. I used to do it with so my Halo Make hubs. them quiet. I used to do a super drive in the Halo, and uh, I used to put loads of grease in it, because it was literally like a oh, So I put it in and so I guess it was more for jumps, you know, when you're doing jumps. You can oh, hear you it. can hear it. When you turn, it goes... Did you not? You don't want to hear it. Dice well, nowadays you do. Don't. Don't personal preference, I guess. It is, yeah. Jar of fashion. I quite like a loud hub still. Me too. Maybe because our hearing's getting worse. <laughs> can I point one out? Yeah, go on, you do it. Downhill bikes have gone out of fashion. Downhill bikes? Downhill bikes have gone out of fashion. <sighs> Oh. I think a super enduro, like a big travel single cramp fork, that's the bike. Don't or hit, enduro. Don't bike. hit me with this news. I don't agree, in fact, because I've just got a new downhill bike and I absolutely love it. And I've been doing uplift days, which I used to do all the time because I used to you know, race a lot. And now mm. I'm back on I'm like, this is the best thing ever. Yeah. Stick that enduro bike for pedaling. If I'm going downhill, I want my downhill bike. So anyway, get stuffed. It's out of fashion, let us know. Is a downhill bike out of fashion? Because I feel like the majority... It's the coolest bike I've ever had. Literally, it's the nicest looking bike I've ever had. I, I put it in my bike stand in the garage and I just stand and look at it. When was the last time you did that with a bike? It's amazing. It's in it's fashion, point. I'm telling you, it's, it's in point. fashion. It's got a point. Plus size tyres. This came and went pretty quick. Very quickly. Now, I had one. I had it on a Scott. Yeah, I did. In but it... then I changed them because you could run 29ers. Yeah. Because it, but it basically, for me, <laughs> I liked the idea. I liked the feel of it, some stuff, but actually the tyre was too lightweight. Because yeah. obviously you had to make such a big tyre that yeah. if you made it thick enough to with stand punctures, yeah. it'd be super heavy. So the tyres they made were just too light, so you'd rip them. And they kind of rolled a and bit. The flipping didn't get any grip. If you want to go fat, go fat bike. If you want to go normal, yeah. go. don't go in the middle. It's well, like buying that semi-skimmy, semi-skin milk. Yeah, it's semi-skin or full fat. Didn't hang around. People specialised, had the six fatty, they called it. Mm. Do they still do it, don't they? No, but my forks on my bike still say 29 or 27.5 plus. They do. Does still anyone do still run them? Let us know in the comments down below if you still run 27.5 plus. I'm not sure there'll be many people. <laughs> no. Finally, Pressfit BBs. They're still What's here. that? They're still here. They're going out of fashion. So people are now making bikes with the old threaded BBs. I thought Which, that was still the thing. Well, people, I mean, people have asked, rightly so, I think, for threaded BBs to come back. Because mm. it just makes your bike easier to work on. You're not hammering things out. It's not creaking. It's not a headset. Yes, there's an argument that if it's put in right with grease and it's aligned properly, that it's not going to creak. Mm -hmm. But why do that when you can just thread it in and it just works? <gasps> Light bulb moment. Really? Threaded in. Headset cups. Why don't they do that? Because you whack them in like you did with the BB. We still whack them in since. I'm sure there's a good reason. Dot. I'm sure there's a good reason. Do you reckon? I don't know. Let us know. Anyway, that is the tech that's been and gone. What is what is going to go next? I I think hydraulic hoses will be going next. Really? Maybe. Smart suspension. What about electronic suspension? Is that been and gone? Oh, is it going to go? I never got into it, Neil. I never got into it. Let us know in the comments the tech that you would like to see go out of fashion. E-bikes. Yeah. Oh, no. It's never going out of fashion. No.